Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahab Bashim of Shabba Hashem, Wakaha Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Most peace, love, and salutation to the brothers doing his work, the truth and sincerity. Shalom, this is the brother at the top. Back, I think, back again through the spirit with another lesson. Hey, 144, Kahalayim la Yahab Bashim of Shabba. 22 miles ahead. Lord willing to be edifying. Okay, this is the book of us. Nah, this is my kid. Oh. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 15. It says, Thus said Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. So um, I'm bringing this precept out because, you know, when you come into the truth, you know, you have this Western mindset, but slowly but surely, your your whole your whole mind is changing, man. The Lord is changing us. And the more you the more you grow, the more you understand, and the more you see things differently, man. You see everything for what it is. You see this the the um the unrighteousness and the the wickedness of the society more clearer but when you was in the world you didn't really see it because it was it was a normal thing but when you open your eyes to the truth you will see the unrighteousness and the unbalancedness of this society and how everything is out of order and out of balance the scripture says a false balance is an abomination to the lord and when you you learn the truth a false balance becomes an abomination to you man Cause it's just something that you just don't You don't like it man You hate it We hate this society The children are out of order The women are out of order Our people are a bunch of savages A bunch of uh, criminals There's no love There's no righteousness There's no uprightness There's no sincerity amongst the people Everybody's a niggard or, uh, or, or a savage. A niggard means a stingy person. Um, everybody's uh, selfish. They're not charitable. It's a lot of things that's wrong with the people in this society, man. And it's vexing to have to be amongst these people because you have to be, you have to maintain, you know, the things that you are learning through the spirit but other people not exercising that same having the same actions towards you you know only amongst the brotherhood but uh, people in this world majority of them are assholes and they're self-centered and selfish and they only care about self man they don't care about their neighbors they don't care about nobody else but themselves and that's what the scripture says they shall be lovers of themselves man And this 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 energy that's in the world is is not is not good, man. And that's why it's another reason why we want society, this society, the social status of this society to change. Because it's not right. It's vexing. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said Yahweh, Yahweh, stand ye in the way, the ways and see. Ask for the old paths. And that's what we're doing through the spirit. Empower you, how about Shemel Shah? We're asking for the old way of things. We're, the old way. The old paths. Everything was done better in that time. Everything was done better. The women was acting right. This new era, this new millennium is uh is 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 is, is abomination, man. It's abomination. Everything is contaminated, everything is polluted, nothing is pure anymore. And this is why we want righteousness to be established in the earth. Because if righteousness was established, none, the, the, the social status would change. Everything would change. Everything would be different if righteousness ruled. Because if you're doing, if you're doing something that's unrighteousness, unrighteous, you will be ultimately exterminated. You wouldn't be put in jail. You'll be exterminated, man. It says. 
Where is the good way and walk therein? Right. Going back to the law, statutes, and commandments. The old way. This is the good way. We're, and we're trying to inform our people that the way that they're living their lives is not the good way to live. But they don't want to listen. They don't want to incline their ear into the good way. They want to continue down this this uh this false way of living. Because they, they trust, they trust in this society in the way, in the in the living conditions of it. It says, "Where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls." Right, we have found rest in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, in His way that He wants things done. We don't have a problem with, you know, I will, you know, having more more than one woman. You know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to our best of our abilities. Why? Because these things lead to life. These things lead to life. The scriptures lead to life. This scripture is a doctrine of life. Let's get that real quick. I believe it's a scripture in the Apocrypha that says doctrine of life. Let me see. Uh, let me see real quick. Sirach 19 and 19. It's lock here. Sirach 19 and 19, it says, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. What does that talk about? The scriptures. The law says commandments. Exodus, Exodus, uh, Deuteronomy, Numbers. I'm forgetting one. Oh, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Numbers. The law says the commandments. It says, Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandment of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Now, what does that word doctrine mean? Let me get it real quick. The word doctrine, it means the body of principles, dogmas. It says a region, a religion or field of knowledge, teaching doctrine. What is that? The law, statute, commandments. A teaching body of teachings, learning, teacher. Okay, it says the notion is whatever is taught or laid down as true by a master and instructor. Who is our master and our instructor? Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah. And the Lord has laid it down. The Lord has been laid down the um the body of teachings, which is the scripture, the law, statute, commandments. He been laid, he been set that foundation. We just chose not to follow it. It says any set of principles held as true. Now what is now what does that pertain to? The law, statutes, and commandments. Is not the laws true? The law so you mean to tell me the law is false? No, the law is true. Because if you keep the law, you will live. That's been it's proven. If you keep the law, you will live. You will have immortality. If you leave it, that's when you die. The scriptures is clear. It's not complex. The scripture says the laws, that's the commandments of the Lord are not grievous, but easy, man. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. And the law endured for that endured forever. So that the law is not done away with and it never will be. Because the law is what a what makes us wise the scriptures tell you that in the book of deuteronomy chapter 4 lord willing i remember to get that the law was makes us wise and what does wisdom lead to wisdom leads to life everlasting life let's keep going i got a couple precepts i want to get uh the law being grievous that's first john and um um law being grievous in deuteronomy 4 okay it says it's all they that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die. Now what happened with Jake? They leave the law and they, they start following the heathens. And then they started a cycle and made a covenant with death. Let's go to 1 John first. Could I mention that? 1 John 5 and 3, I think. Okay, um, so our people, they eat pork, they eat shrimp, they eat crab, they eat lobsters. They, um, they, uh, they don't exercise a proper diet which is what, what I just mentioned.
they they uh they commit abominable acts um sodomy they commit uh um women yo that's oh that's sodomy um slaki uh they don't exercise which that can that can help a lot of people if they exercise um they don't exercise a proper diet they don't keep the law and commandments they 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 are committing adultery they don't worship the Lord they worship other gods and all of these things they lead to death and there's many other things that lead to death these are just some examples all of these things that they our people exercise themselves leads to death look at this shit man I'm, I'm just look Esau just destroying destroying all these trees man deforestation that need that that need, that shit needs to stop man they taking all the uh they taking all the oxygen out of the air man but um let's keep reading first first john five and three it says for this is the love of the most high that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous right so you want did you want you want to you want to show that you love the lord Keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, that's how you show that you love the Lord. That's the Lord's love. Keeping his commandments is his is his love, man. So all you people out here claiming that you oh I love God, but you eating pork. You know? You're not exercising the law, statutes, and commandments. And, uh, and at the same time, it's it's is nearly imp it's impossible for us to keep them keep them perfect but you know the scripture says judges 5 and 11 we are rehearsing the righteous acts and our people don't even want to do that they don't want to rehearse they don't want to practice they don't want to get it right they don't want to have they don't want nothing to do with the law of sets of commandments because they 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 don't want to they're comfortable with the way that they're living they have liberty in this in america to do what they want and they have trusting in that liberty which that liberty is going to lead you to death let's go to the book of deuteronomy deuteronomy chapter 4 oh it says first i'm gonna start at verse 5 it says behold i have taught you statutes and judgments even as yahweh my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land where we where we whether you go to possess so it does not the scripture says if you attend upon the law of such commandments we will have good success yes we will have good success because when we was doing good we were following the law of such commandments the lord blessed us but when we stopped the lord cursed us and we're seeing the fruits of our labor we're stopping the commandment we stopped the commandments and we're feeling the curses it says that ye should do so in the land whether you go to possess verse 6 keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all the statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people for what nation is is there so great whom have the most high so so nigh unto them as Yahweh our power is is in all things that we call upon him for so these nations are going to see once the, uh, our kingdom is established they're going to see that wow like this is a uh keeping the law statutes, and commandments is a great is a wise and understanding is it's a wise thing to do and they're going to follow that example and we're going to get respect amongst the heathens they're going to respect us because we keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and the Lord is going to be with us, and He's going to bless us, man. And we're going to set up that standard in the earth that we, the, the, the nation, they're going to have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments.
Commander. Uh, Isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 it says and many people shall say shall go and say come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh which that word mountain means government to the house of the God of Jacob which is you know Israel and he will teach us his ways what is that the law what are the ways of the Lord the law statutes and commandments <sighs> and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. So out of Zion shall go forth the law. Out of Israel shall go forth the law. Because we're gonna we're gonna establish the law. We're gonna establish the law, statute, commandments in the earth. And everybody gonna have to follow them, man. So um Okay, I wanna prove something with real quick wisdom. Going back to the other scriptures, wisdom leads to life. Sirach, not, not Sirach, Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. It says, For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. Salaki, bear with me. Okay. It says, But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. That's one precept. Sirach 10, 1 and 2, it says, The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. Baruch 3 and 9, it says, Hear Israel, the commandments of life, give ear to understand wisdom. And 14 it says learn where is wisdom where is strength where is understanding that thou mayest know also where is length of days and life where is the light where is the light of the eyes in peace and you can find all of that in the law and statute commandments of the scriptures man because uh, the wisdom of the world does not lead to the life it leads you to death. <sighs> Root three and twelve. It says, "Thou." It says, "Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom, for if thou hadst walked in, my, in the way of the Most High, thou shouldest have, thou shouldest have dwelled in peace forever." Learn where is wisdom. Learn where is strength. Learn. Let's look. It's like it. Learn where is wisdom where is strength where is understanding that thou mayest know also where is length of days and peace where is the light of the eyes and peace who hath found out her place or who hath come into her treasures where are the princes of the heathen become and such are ruled the beast upon the earth now where are all these things in wisdom that her is referring to wisdom <sighs> So I wanted to prove that wisdom leads you to life, man. 
And if we have that, we will live evermore, man. Solomon 6 and 20 it says therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom and that's what we want we want we want the kingdom that's why we're we're inclining our ears to the, the wisdom and knowledge of understanding of the scriptures man so seeking out the old paths is the right way to do it you know and we want we want we want the old paths man we want the old way of life because we'll live more. We'll live longer if we had the old way of life, man. I'm about to get one last precept speaking about the kingdom and Lord willing to be edifying. This lesson was edifying through the spirit. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4. For the for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O power beside thee, what had prepared for them that waited for him so we are like the scripture says i just got the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom and that's the kingdom that we're looking forward to we're looking forward to seeing the kingdom being established upon the earth and righteousness being established in the earth and it's gonna only gonna be spearheaded by israelites man we're the ones that's gonna have to execute righteousness in the earth because these heathens are not gonna do it they've all of these heathens have had their rings they have had their chance at rulership and not one kept the law, statutes, and commandments. <sighs> because the law, statutes, and commandments is our wisdom, man. We're the ones that's going to be the ones. We're the ones that's going to keep the laws. And no other gods are going to be worshipped or praised. We're the one. We speaking as Israelites. We're Israelites. We're the ones that's gonna, that's gonna have that authority in the earth. And the eyes have not seen the kingdom, man. We, hey, nobody has knows what the Lord has prepared for this for the elect, man. For his for his people, we're gonna have a kingdom. If we continue to follow after righteousness, we're gonna have a a very very beautiful kingdom, man. And it's gonna everything pertaining to the kingdom is gonna be made. It's gonna be perfectly, perfectly made. Perfect, man. Everything is gonna be perfect. So with that, man, and we looking forward to seeing the, how the kingdom is gonna be, man. It's gonna be way far than anything that we can fathom, man. That we can imagine. But we're we're looking forward to the establishment of this kingdom, man, which is gonna be this spearheaded by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly, 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 and willfully. Ignorantly, ahead, willfully ignorantly call him Jesus, so called Christ. So, with that, man, Lord, you bless edify this lesson. Close out by saying, Kahalai Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, rule to teach well, must peace, love, and salutations to the brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity of heart, risk your lives and freedom to do so. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom, Komiyasha Allah, Wa Aba Baba, Wa Aba Adawam, Shalom.